we are standing uh, in our newly completed solar parking lot project. If you've been coming to the zoo for a long time, you know that this parking project between the zoo and the VA has been years and years and years in the making, done in many different phases. So the development of these parking lots has been a game changer for the zoo. The relationship between Malink Solar and the Cincinnati Zoo has been a 15 year partnership. And I think that, you know, with the zoo having the sustainability values and really walking the talk, it really aligns with our mission and what we're trying to accomplish with mainstreaming net zero energy. The zoo's one of the greenest zoos in the world. And we really love how passionate they are about making these types of projects known. Surface parking lots uh, is kind of an unfortunate necessity in the urban environment. Uh, but for us, if you're going to do a surface parking lot, this is how you do it. A lot of our other projects are either on rooftops or behind fences, uh, where this one is publicly accessible. So two key components here. One, our horticulture, the botanical, we are a botanical garden. So we go to great lengths to make these parking lots look beautiful. This is uh, proof uh, that an asphalt parking lot can have great curb appeal. But the other big piece is the solar. So as you all know, we've been heavily invested in solar for a long, long time, starting in 2011, when we put in our 1.6 megawatt array in the old main parking lot. It's a 50 foot span. The height is over 14 feet tall, which allows accommodating buses, RVs, larger vehicles. Um, this is one of the largest canopies I've ever seen, and it's over 12 feet longer than the original canopy in 2011. This array is 2.8 megawatts. Uh, we started planning for this project in 2019. When you first look at the two canopies, they look almost identical, but the solar industry has really come a long way since 2011 compared to now. Um, the old canopy is roughly um, the same square footage or same area as the new canopy, but the new canopy produces twice as much power as the original one. So 2.8 megawatts, so we're over four and a half megawatts total combined on-site solar. For perspective, we're almost, we're right around two thirds of our electricity from our, for our campus comes from our parking lots. This is gonna really help us slash our, continue to slash uh, our carbon footprint, but also uh, for reference next year, uh, this will save us $300,000 on our electric bill next year alone. Uh, and the cumulative savings for this over the next 30 years is many, 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 many millions of dollars. So this is a big part of our long-term financial sustainability plan. So when we open up projects like Elephant Trek, and we have all these new elephants, which means more food, which means a lot more elephant poop, we gotta figure out what to do it with, and more staff and all these things, more electricity and more natural, you know, all the things. One of the ways we're able to keep those operating costs at bay is projects like this. So smart capital investments, to help our operating budget. That's been our MO for 20 years. With the first canopy project installed in 2011, at the time it was the largest publicly accessible canopy array in the United States. With this project being the second phase two canopy project, it's really nice that the canopies is the first thing that people see when they arrive. They're able to leave their cars under shade and come back to a much cooler vehicle and then leave and it's the last impression that they have of the zoo. Imagine having a long day at the zoo, you come out to your minivan, you'll be able to go into a minivan that's 80 something degrees versus 130 degrees. That does matter. And we just love the fact that these arrays are your first and last experience coming to our zoo. It's part of our image, it's part of our brand, it's part of our mojo. And it just tells people right off the bat what's important to us. We're super proud that the zoo is an icon here in the Cincinnati and even you know the area beyond. And we love that this, the zoo's story and sustainability and path to net zero energy is very visible to the community and that they're also sharing a lot of the solar love with communities in need as well. They ordered extra panels in order to install projects around uh, the surrounding community and communities that are really in need and live in energy poverty. By around 2030, 2031, when we have a couple other projects cut loose, uh, solar projects, 100% of our electric needs for our campus will come from our parking lots. So we're well on our way and I feel really good about getting there. But again, if you're gonna do a parking lot, 
in uptown Cincinnati or any urban environment, this is literally how you do it. This is how it's done right here.